uh, about halfway through that test, I'm looking down and all of a sudden the realization sets in that I'm looking at a probable, truthful uh, result. And I mean, I'm getting chills right now talking about it because that's what I got. On every chart that I did, the one relevant question that was the same with every test was uh, the last one. Have you deliberately lied to any question concerning uh, the UFO information you've given me? And uh, his answer of no was indicated as being truthful on the charts. So whatever he told me that night, Bob Lazar truly believes to be the truth. Bob Lazar appeared to be truthful when he described how the craft's reactor functioned. We weren't precisely sure how everything worked, but we had a rough idea. It was a field propulsion system. It was um, something you really couldn't sense, but would lift the craft. Field propulsion can be demonstrated with two magnets. Set one way, the magnet's poles will attract. Set the other way, the magnets will repel each other. Lazar says that the craft used gravity waves to repel and attract through space. Using earthly materials and state-of-the-art technology, we could not possibly duplicate one of these systems. Not even close. What we're seeing was a, a, a total annihilation reactor, a reactor that reacted matty, matter and antimatter, which is something we really haven't even touched on. We know this is possible. Uh, we know we have fission reactors. We're currently trying to develop fusion reactors that produce energy like the sun does, but uh, we haven't even thought about working on antimatter reactors, which is 100% uh, efficient. And here was a working model of it, not just a working model of it, but it was small. It was something that a person could lift. And we're looking at something that you can hold in your hand and puts out more power than our full-size nuclear power plants. So this wasn't just a little bit advanced from our technology. This was, this was something big.